a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Now let's give Jesus a round of applause. While they take pictures and they want to be on social media, take the pictures. 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 I came there in peace. The lie that I would charge towards a woman and a baby, I am a mother. I would not do that. This man, who's supposed to be a bishop in the Lord's church, called me up and ushered me up to the front. And once I got up there, I began to speak in my heavenly language. And I don't know what happened, but that's when it went left. I was praying in my heavenly language. And next thing I know, I was being grabbed behind my hair and drug out. Man, it sounds like they just need to take this church, tear it down, or turn it into a McDonald's or some shit. There's always something going down. So the bishop, pastor, scammer, whatever you want to call him, he talking about, first of all, he had a press conference. Why the hell are you going to hold a press conference over some bullshit like this? Probably spending some more other people's money. So let's put that to the side. He held a press conference to speak about what happened. And he showed some additional footage, even though that footage don't make him look good either. He's trying to say 
because he got robbed a couple months ago and the robber held a gun at his wife and eight month old daughter at the time so he said he had a flashback when he saw the lady walking towards his mother and his daughter with a bag he automatically thought she was going to attack or charge or do something so he grabbed her from the back and escorted her all the way out the door you know what i'm saying but that was some bullshit and then the thing that i don't understand from her she talking about she was walking up there in her heavenly language and started speaking in her heavenly language then the next thing she knows she was getting extort escorted out like what the hell is a heavenly language what that mean like speaking in tongues or seeing a holy ghost i don't know but why is she supporting this nigga like he he up there with these chains on rings on watches him and his wife probably got matching ferraris in the parking lot you know what i'm saying a huge two-story six-bedroom house and how you get all that you know what i'm saying what you do to get all your money like nah bro uh -uh. i'm not having like him the the pastor joel overstein whatever his name is all these rich pastors with all this money is getting funded by the people they don't got to pay no money in taxes no money in taxes all the money that they be giving these pastors it don't make no sense like i remember because i haven't been to church in about 15 plus years but when i used to go to church i remember being there sitting there the pastor be like oh it's time to pass the collection plate pass the collection plate the people that be giving the most money is the older people the the women and men up in their age like 60s and 70s they writing checks they throwing 20s 40s 40s 60s and they claim it's going towards maintenance and field trips or whatever you might call it but in reality it's going to the pastor's pockets it's going to whoever in the church taking the money and putting it in their own pocket that's how they be able to support this lifestyle they always going on fancy trips is because they getting money from the poor people in the community telling them stuff like they give them money they you know what I'm saying you get blessed this and that all this bullshit just to give people money and I'm not saying all pastors like this but the pastors that's flying and flossing that's not what the Lord wants you to do the Lord wants you to to help out the community to give to the less fortunate have food drives you know what I'm saying like so many different things other than buying fifty thousand dollar watches hundred thousand dollar chain driving around in these expensive ass Rolls Royces or phantoms or you know ferraris I'm like nah that's not what the lord wants you to do so i don't respect anybody that's having poor people come to his church and they giving him money you know what i'm saying i just don't respect it and i don't believe his story but like i said this whole church need to be shut down man what y'all think about this your boy b months